Sunnyvale, California, December 15, 2011. Genetics company 23andMe announces their at-home testing kits can now detect how much of a person's DNA comes from the Neanderthals. Neanderthals are an extinct species that were very similar to humans and died out roughly 30,000 years ago. But the 23andMe tests have shown that there is a small percentage of Neanderthal DNA in each and every one of us. With the advent of these designer DNA tests, it's making us rethink the way humans evolved. Neanderthals are a subspecies of Homo sapiens. We share a common ancestor with them around 800, 700,000 years ago. They existed in what is Europe, the Middle East, and basically dominated the Ice Age. And hopefully, now that we know that we have Neanderthal DNA in our genome, we'll be more interested in actually learning about our past. This is a shock, because we used to think that we didn't mate with anybody else. But using the science of DNA, we began to realize, hey, there was a lot of mating that went back and forth between Neanderthals and humans. We now have data to work with to retrace the family tree of our race. Modern humans and Neanderthals are both what scientists refer to as hominins, a group of species that includes mankind and its closest relatives. Thus far, fossils of 21 different hominin species have been found. And new genetic discoveries are revealing that we have much more in common with the Neanderthals and other hominins than previously thought. Neanderthal fossils first came to light in the early part of the 19th century. But at that time, they were dismissed as inferior to us. So the idea that modern humans have Neanderthal DNA in them is incredibly important because it shows that they are our distant cousins. We are realizing now more and more that they were in every respect human. If you had a Neanderthal today and you dressed them in a suit, would you know it was a Neanderthal? The answer is probably you wouldn't. They were great uh, tool makers and users. They left behind art, different jewelry as well. We're finding out that Neanderthals were actually burying their dead, which shows that they were invested in their loved ones. What we've learned by studying Neanderthal DNA is that some traits that Neanderthals had were passed into modern human populations. One of the traits that came from Neanderthals was a propensity to have diabetes. And so it ended up getting passed on, even though it provided a little bit of a disadvantage to those who had it. Our closest relative is the Neanderthal, and they're gone. But they also survive in our DNA. The more we can learn about them, the more we learn about us.